Okay, I'm going to do a quick review on the Common Man Reference Bible vinyl. This is my Common Man uh, wide margin. Now I put a little bit of tape around the edges because I'm going to take this on the truck and I already know that where they get beat up. <laughs> Almost all my Bibles got a little reinforcement. I went ahead and reinforced it at the beginning. Uh, it's... Uh, this is what they, he calls the uh, compact version, which what it is is it's just like uh, this one, the same font size, only without the wide margins. But if you don't have a common man's reference Bible, I would highly recommend it uh, because of his uh, references that uh, are just unmatched by any reference Bible I've got. And uh, this is actually, even in the vinyl, he, it's a red letter edition. Uh, it opens, you know, pretty good. Of course, it's a vinyl. It costs $23. Um, $23, and I think uh, I paid $7 shipping, so it came out to 30 bucks. And honestly, these vinyls aren't bad. If you just want the information in the Bible, this is a good one to get. Look at all those references. He's got some good notes, too. Uh, David Hoffman, I believe he's a very sound uh, preacher. He does uh, preach about the flat earth. And, uh, but it, the, the Bible doesn't, I think it has one or two references to, uh, a flat earth, but nothing to avoid it. I avoided these things for years because of that. And then, uh, when I got it, I was just real happy with it. It's got everything the regular common man's got. And it's even the same kind of paper on on this. Marriages, births. You got the uh Well It ain't laying flat yet, but it's a vinyl, so uh his little I think that's uh King Jen yeah, the dedicatory is how you say it. And then he has a preface to the bio his Bible, his common man Bible. It's not hard it's a very easy system, uh, he has. Like uh see that G there? You just go over to G here, and he's got his reference. Um, if you see a one, God, there's a one. That's down here. And, of course, the two would be here. And then it has a B, so you would go to uh, the references. Very easy. He's got a introductions to each book and he has uh, dates uh, which I absolutely love he has dates all through the Bible and uh, it's the uh, you know it's a paperback uh, vinyl so the paper is not as nice as you know you're going to get here you're not going to have gold edge lines uh, this is my Ruckman which I've reinforced and it's held up real good and actually the common man is slightly I mean ever so slightly wider uh, I don't know if you can even see the difference but it's just a uh, the same uh, length. It's just a hair wider because he this is ten point uh, font, 
in the common man, and this is nine point in the Ruckman. But uh, if you don't have a common man uh, Bible and you really don't want to spend a hundred bucks for one, man, get you one of these vinyls. They you can buy for the same price. You can buy it with the wide margin. I just got the compact version because as soon as he comes out with the uh, with his hand size, I'm gonna jump on it. Um, it's easily one of my well probably my favorite that uh reference bible that i own i can uh you can use his reference system and you can chase it down it's kind of like a thompson chain almost because he just got so much and not just one like this is m and he's got three and this is l he's got three refer i mean it's the his reference system uh, is superior uh, he doesn't have as many notes as like Ruckman or a lot of them do but uh, his notes are all real good most of them you're not going to agree with everybody on everything but I would highly recommend if you do not have a common man bible get one even if you have to uh, get a cheap one and oh he's got the best maps they're accurate. They're biblically accurate. He'll give you the references uh, in these things. This is uh, Time of the Patriarchs. See, he gives you the reference, Exodus and Numbers, the route of the Exodus, and he actually shows you accurately, and this is the only Bible I know of that does, where the crossing of the Red Sea is. That's the, this is the absolutely only Bible I know that has that correct. The route to the promised land. And he gives you the reference, which is nice. General location, tribes of Israel. And again, he gives you the references. And these are, for vinyl, these are the same paper and everything that's in that I mean it's a good good little bible for $23 and he has uh, the journeys of Paul separated which I absolutely love you know how you get a, a bible map that's got them all on one page and you can't really he's got them separated there's second journey I'm fighting here to keep the and the third journey and then the trip to Rome all on separate maps. God bless him for that, right? And uh uh the seven churches in Revelation. And then he's got, he's even got a few pages of cardstock that you can take your notes and stuff in. So anyway, that's the vinyl. Excuse the tape. It don't come with the tape. I'll do that just to reinforce it on the truck because it gets chunked around. Uh, that's why I buy it. I'm going to take this one off. I love this Bible. This is my common man, and I've taken a whole bunch of notes, but it's getting banged up too much. It's been on the truck for a year. That's about enough. I'll just go with the vinyls now. And I, they're easily replaced. Anyway, that's a quick review of the Common Man uh, Bible uh, a Vinyl Compact, is what he calls it. And it's still got a little bit of a margin. I mean, you could, you know, put references on the outside if you wanted to. Anyway, that's it. God bless you. I just got in. It's Saturday night. It's really, really, it might be Sunday morning by now. But uh, uh, it's so good to be home. But that's my review of the Common Man Bible Vinyl Compact Edition. Thank you, David, Pastor David Hoffman, for making this. This is uh, I love these things. 
right, they don't do you no good if you don't read them. Note our man's opinion. This is the word of God right here. This is what you put your faith in. And uh, his reference system is all going to the word of God and other places. So read your Bibles and pray without ceasing. If you have any prayer requests, leave them in the comments. We will pray for you. Uh, God bless each and every one of you.